you have high blood pressure, your doctor might have suggested checking your blood pressure at home. It's usually a smart move that can really help. It lets you keep an eye on how you're doing, see if your meds are doing their job, and if needed, make any changes so that you can stay on track. But when is the best time of the day to take your blood pressure? And how can you get the most accurate results? Hi, my name is Kweku and I'm a pharmacist. In this video, I will answer these questions and provide some tips for measuring your blood pressure correctly. Now, for starters, it is important to know that blood pressure is not a fixed number. It fluctuates throughout the day, depending on various factors such as stress, activity, food, caffeine, alcohol, smoking, and medication, among many other things. Blood pressure also follows a circadian rhythm, meaning it changes according to the time of the day and the sleep-wake cycle. Now, generally speaking, blood pressure is lowest during sleep and rises sharply upon waking up. It peaks in the afternoon and declines in the evening. However, this pattern may vary from person to person depending on their lifestyle and other health conditions. According to a 2020 study published in the Journal of Clinical Hypertension, blood pressure peaks for the day between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. The study authors found that testing during this window can help to identify people at a risk for a form of a heart disease known as left ventricular hypertrophy. However, most healthcare providers do not recommend taking afternoon readings as it typically may not reflect your average blood pressure level. Instead, they suggest taking your blood pressure twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening. So let's start with the best time to take your blood pressure reading in the morning. It is generally recommended to take your blood pressure early in the morning before breakfast or any morning exercise. This can give a baseline reading that is not influenced by food, caffeine, or physical activity. For those of us that like coffee, you get to take the reading before having your first cup of joe for the morning. Now, you would however not take it immediately after you wake up as this may not give you the most accurate reading. Instead, aim to check it when you have been about for about half an hour or so. So a good plan would be to use the bathroom, sit quietly for about five minutes or so, avoid potential stresses such as checking work emails or watching the news that may raise your blood pressure. Now, on a side note, limit your news watching. It always seems to be full of doom and gloom. Meanwhile, the real situation may typically not be as bad as it seems. So rule of thumb, limit your news watching. I personally don't watch the news. To ensure accurate results, take two readings roughly one minute apart. If you get two vastly different readings, wait another minute and then take it again. Now let's shift our attention to taking your blood pressure. When is the best time to take your blood pressure reading in the evening? Now the best time will be before dinner or any evening exercise. This can give you another reading that is not influenced by food or physical activity. Now, similar to the morning reading, you should sit quietly for about five minutes before taking your blood pressure. As usual, avoid caffeine, alcohol, smoking, or exercise for at least 30 minutes or so prior to taking your blood pressure. Just like the morning, take two readings one minute apart and record the average. Now, besides choosing the right time of the day to take your blood pressure, there are other things that you can do to ensure that you get reliable readings. Now, here are some tips that you can use to ensure those accurate readings. The first one is to use a validated home blood pressure monitor that fits your arm properly. Fitting your arm properly is very important. I mean, you can always ask your doctor or a pharmacist for a recommendation. Now, a validated blood pressure monitor is one that has been validated for clinical accuracy as determined through an independent review process. Now, I have some links in the description app for some validated monitors for those of us that want to purchase one. Number two is place the cuff on your bare upper arm and make sure that it is even with your heart. Then sit comfortably with your back supported and your feet flat on the floor. Do not cross your legs or talk while taking your blood pressure reading. Record your readings in a logbook or an app. You know, these days, you can also even share the readings with your doctor electronically for those of us that are tech savvy. Now, it may also be a good idea to compare your home readings with those taken at your doctor's office periodically. This can help you calibrate your monitor and detect any discrepancies, especially the phenomenon of uh, white coat hypertension, where your blood pressure only seems to be elevated at your doctor's office, but anytime you take it anywhere else at home in a comfortable setting, it seems to be normal. Now, I sincerely hope these tips may kind of help you get accurate blood pressure readings. On your screen is another video that I did talking about reasons why sometimes taking your medication may not result in lowering of your blood pressure. I hope you enjoyed that video as well. Thank you for staying through. Stay blessed and catch you on the next video.